Okay. What's up guys, it's Kobe Brock. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, we are doing a part two of me trying Starbucks for the first time, but wait! I know there's gonna be a lot of people being like, Kobe, you, you've tried Starbucks now, you can't say that. But I swear to God, guys, all I've ever had is cold brews and caramel macchiatos, okay? He's a coffee drinker now. I'm a coffee drinker, but I drink the shittiest coffee of all time. I have a list of new drinks to try that I've never experienced in my life. Are they fruity and they a little and they're like, swirly with flavors. My taste buds are already so excited for this. I've been planning on this all day, and I'm ready to drink all these coffees so that my heart stops and I just fall over on the drive home. But anyways, guys, let me know if you've heard about any of these coffees, and let's make our way to Starbucks. Come on, guys! So, Sam Goldbach, last time we talked a little bit about some tea we were having How much with other tea? YouTubers. What, what did we talk about? We did talked we... about how there were um, the Weber brothers doing like a rap battle or something like that. But that's not the point. Do you have any tea for me today? Any recent tea? Some green tea from I'm, Starbucks? I'm looking for some drama in my life. What's going on? Did you hear that those dweebs named Sam and Colby are rebranding their whole fucking YouTube channel? Oh, I have not. Who, what, what are they doing? They're doing this whole thing called 25 by 25. What? They're, they're done with Haunted. They're done with Haunted? You know what I want to say really quick is I'm actually kind of glad we're moving away from Haunted 2 for this reason. I think, and I want you guys to know that messing with demonic stuff and playing with the Ouija boards and messing with witchcraft and stuff like that, it's a very evil thing and I'm glad that it was just us doing it, so please do not play with that stuff. That's no joke. Are you going to blame all your last year's bad luck on the demons? Yeah, probably. I mean, it's no joke, guys. I'm playing with that stuff, like looking back on this, it's not smart at all, and that's why I'm glad that we hardly touch the Ouija board anymore. But anyways, whoa, we're already here yeah. at Starbucks. Why summon demons when you can drink fruity frappuccines exactly. from Starbucks? And live 25 by 25, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Guys, every single time I've been to Starbucks, there is a long ass line. What's up with that? It's six o'clock right now. Do you have any plans for the holidays? We're going home, finally. We're literally gonna go home in about one week. Also, we're leaving town tomorrow, so as you guys are watching this video, we're probably not even in LA, but don't worry. We've all been COVID tested. We're being safe about it, but we're about to have these crazy adventures, probably the best times we're ever gonna have in our lives. What do you think is gonna be the best drink after you have gone through and ordered, or looked up these orders? Are you talking about from Starbucks specifically? From Starbucks. Oh God, well I've only had the caramel macchiato really. Actually, the other day I was forced to have a mocha, and you that was really sure. good. What is this person doing? He's trying to cut you off, bro. Stupid mocha. Cut you. You're lying. So you want to fight me? All right, so this is what we got today. We got a few options. Apparently, there's like an iced eggnog latte. Do you even uh, like eggnog? No, that sounds disgusting. Do you remember when we had eggnog in the last trap house? It was phenomenal. I feel like eggnog just sounds like a gross word. It like, sounds horrible, but it tastes spectacular. It just sounds like it would be gross. Eggnog. Peppermint white hot chocolate. We gotta get that. There's a mochi cookie crumble frap. That oh, sounds so good. That's my favorite drink of all time. There's the pink drink. What's the pink drink? And then there's the pumpkin pie frap. <laughs> Guys, we're next in line. And I'm freaking the f out. Excited, dude. Oh. Don't be nervous. Don't be. This is the first time I've talked to a girl. And Hi, welcome to Starbucks. How can I help you? Oh, Hello. You. All right, so I have a few things we got. Um, do you guys have the iced eggnog latte? Yeah. Can I do that grande, please? Grande everything. And then can I also do the peppermint white oh, hot yeah. chocolate grande? The mocha cookie crumble frap. And then can I do the pink drink grande? And then can I do the pumpkin pie frap grande? Do you guys have like the thin mint frap? I'm gonna do the cotton candy frap, which is vanilla bean and raspberry. Caramel ribbon crunch frap. Caramel ribbon crunch frap, you got it. Those are all grande, right? Are all grande. Guys, if you know any of the drinks that I just ordered, let me know in the comments right now which one's the best one before I consume it. Guys, how do you get a girlfriend? You wanna know something interesting? What? I survived No Nut November this year. You actually did it? Yeah. Why did you do that to yourself? Because that's what you're supposed to do. I didn't. Hi. Hi. Uh, I heard it on the thing, I was like, I swear. 
this sounds like them, and I was like, no. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. that's oh, awesome. Twenty dollars and sixty cents. <laughs> I got okay. some gift cards for you. So four dollars and fifteen that one. So this one that I paid for it though. Oh my god! Yeah. Thank you, mom. Thanks, mom. Whoever gave it to me really liked you guys. Thank you, mom. Hey, thank oh you so my much. Oh god! I just drop it everywhere. Uh, All right, could you um possibly? Oh hold yeah, food? I'm gonna hold like eighteen <laughs> drinks at one time. What? Well, you sure. want me to drive away Here. and kill us all? <laughs> all right, be careful. All right, guys, we will see you at home. We got the goods. Hello guys, okay, we got the Starbucks now. Are you ready to try this? I'm ready, I think we need to be a, a better presentation right now. Better presentation? How? Come on, get, get these out of here. Why do we need all this cardboard up in here? We gotta recycle this like stuff. Cardboard. All right guys, I hope you're in a Christmas spirit, cause I am, and it's time to try some Starbucks drinks. All right, first one, we're gonna start with on my right, your guys' left. Grande mocha cookie frappuccino. Grande mocha, this sounds just amazing. This is my favorite drink we've ever had in my life. Oh, isn't it heavenly? That's so good. It sticks right in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> That's so good. Is that your favorite drink of all time now? Yes. Does that have coffee in it? Yeah, it's mocha. <laughs> Colby just now finding out about coffee. Holy shit. Oh I feel like God. the last video, like I hated everything we tried. This one's number one so far. So this is the cotton candy frappuccino secret menu, so now you know that we're really big fans. Oh, is it really that bad? No, it's really good. Why do you do that? <laughs> you tricked everybody. Oh my gosh. This tastes like the vodka <laughs> that I drink. <laughs> Your eyes started watering. Are my eyes is watering? It, does it remind you of It vodka? reminds me of vodka. <laughs> We always drink the raspberry Smirnoff. <laughs> oh this, yeah, this that's what it does taste like. So I bet if we added a shot in there, it probably wouldn't taste a thing. Idea. So I just have some water here for monetization purposes. That was more than just a little <laughs> splash of water. You don't say. Is that the best way to drink alcohol now? I think so. I'm scared. It tastes like the same fucking thing. And I put like a lot in there. This is the way to drink alcohol. Holy, whoa! It's not as good as the first one, but hey, close second. This one is called the, oh God. See, I think this one's gonna be my least favorite. It's the what? eggnog. Dude, I guarantee you're gonna love this. Iced eggnog. Eggnog. If it has coffee in it, it might be bad. But if it's just a reg eggnog that's iced, you're gonna like it. All right, eggnog, here we go. Best drink you ever had in your entire life. Oh, I'm not kidding about this one. That was gross. What? That was nasty. I did a big swig too. <laughs> you can't say that's better than these two. You cannot. No. Well, because it has coffee, it's like coffee and eggnog. I don't know. But it's good. It's definitely not that good. Last one. <laughs> All right, this one is called the Grande Pumpkin Frappuccino. So does this pumpkin have coffee? Pumpkin spice. I don't know. I feel like this is, it's not bad, but it's an acquired taste. It's very, very well, pumpkin. Well, do you like pumpkin pie? Yeah, but I don't really like this too much. See what I mean? This is very pumpkin-y. Yeah. Do you like that? I don't know. I feel like if you have pumpkin taste buds in your in your mouth, you would like that. I, I don't know what what difference this is from the one I ever get, but this is a hundred times different and more pumpkin-y than the one I've got. Mm. All right, guys, this was not bad, but it wasn't good. It's gonna be probably like number six or seven. So let's put him over here. This is still last place By over there. Far. Now we got your hot drink. This is the only hot one that we have called the Grande Peppermint White Chocolate. Yeah. Here we go. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. Is that I hot? I just don't like it. Is it hot? It's lukewarm. Oh. Is it's it peppermint? Yes. It's good if you have that taste, if you have that acquired taste. I don't like peppermint at all. Like, I would even say the pumpkin is better than that. This is definitely an acquired peppermint taste, but yeah. I love it. You love it? It tastes like, oh, you know those things? They're called Andes. Andy! They're like chocolate with like a little thin layer of mint in the middle. That's what this tastes like. And those are my favorite candies I've ever had in my life. I would place 
place that above. Above the pumpkin. Pumpkin? Really? I could walk around drinking that when I'm like in the Christmas spirit. But when I'm in the haunted pumpkin spice spirit, there's no way I'm gonna enjoy that too. I feel that. It's really nice. Maybe we should get more warm drinks next time, but it was really nice to have that warm feeling. Oh, like, yeah, like if you imagine you're going to a Santa fair. Outside is kind of chilly. True. This is the caramel ribbon crunch frap. Let's try this out real right quick, all right? Mmm. See, this one's good as oh, shit. Oh, he's a caramel guy. Yeah. Maybe I just like the fraps, though. This is just straight sugar. That's probably why you like Really? That's so good. I think that actually might beat the vanilla bean, believe it or not. Boys. I think it beats the vanilla bean, but still not the, the mocha. All right, we know where we're gonna put it for now, guys. This one looks like the worst one. Green tea, caramel frap. Yeah, what is this? Oh God. So this one is called the Then Mint Frappuccino, and you already know I don't like mint, so I don't know. It's just that they made the Thin Mint with green tea. I don't like green tea. Yeah. I don't know if I like that too much either, to be honest. But so stick it in there, rub it around. Let's mix it around really quick, make it more less green. But this looks like the Grinch would. <laughs> it's good. But I don't like the mint. I honestly think the peppermint's even better than that. But it does taste like a Thin Mint. If you were eating Thin Mints and then eating the, or drinking this, you would basically be doing the same thing. The, yeah, that's what it tastes like, like blended up Thin Mints for sure. So we're gonna move this one over to number four and put you at number five, all right? We got one more. Pink one. drink. Pink drink apparently is a super popular one. This is um, the one that Katrina orders every single time we go to Starbucks without fail. So I don't even know what's in this. To be honest. It's just like a raspberry tea type of pink drink. Here we go, guys. First time ever. Pink drink. Super fruity, right? That's really fruity. That's really like, good. Almost, over, almost overwhelmingly fruity, right? I really like that. Yeah. That was a good fruity taste. That's almost like overbearing. Like that's something that maybe you'd have on like a summer day in a pool. Yeah, it tastes like, it literally tastes like strawberry ice cream. Just like liquid form, just like, rushing like, It tastes like a food. strawberry milkshake. I would say this one's second. You like that bet? Mm -hmm. And the caramel? Yeah, I just don't like fruity as much as like uh, you do, maybe. I would put this one right here in between these two. I don't know why. All right, so it's a 2.5 tie. But it's just like depends on your taste buds, everybody. Well, we gotta test this one too again because I think these will be so close that you might actually like that more than the caramel now. Really? The vanilla bean? The vanilla bean. You like that more than the caramel you just tasted? Kind of. Or is it the vodka in it that is throwing? Oh, the I forgot the vodka. In it. I wonder though which one's better, this or the <coughs> mint. Not echoed. Too pumpkiny. That's just like literally. Is tastes that like is that pumpkin better than eggnog then? Yes. I think this is a good order right here. Great order. To recap, we got the Grande. Grande Mocha Cookie Frap is number one. The last one is eggnog. Everyone else is like, eh, but it's like for acquired taste. This is very sweet, caramely, vanilla, minty, and then we got pumpkin and eggnog. I think the most average one is this. Like, I feel like anyone would like the vanilla raspberry It thing. just tastes it's like just, vanilla. It's literally just like a milkshake. Yes. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. You seem to like the first part, so if you like this part, leave a like. That's the only way I will know, and maybe we'll try more things. You want to try more things in the future? I'll maybe try. we might try some more things in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below your favorite drink if you've had these. Thank you, Sam, for being a part of this. If you guys haven't heard about our new thing, 25 by 25, we're literally rebranding our entire channel and explore, so if you want to hear all about that, it's going to be the first link in the description. Also, speaking of merch a little bit, we have literally discounted everything even more. So now everything is like super discounted because we are completely closing down our merch site January 1st. So if you want to get anything, we're getting rid of everything and then it's Only not for the next back. two weeks. And then we're, it's going bye bye. And then we're revamping the entire merch store. Kind of like what I said last week, but do it if you want to. If you don't, it's all good. I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Sam. Peace! Oh, 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 oh,